Hey guys, so I was thinking about something that keeps coming up and I wanted to make a quick video because I think that this is a topic that may hit home for a lot of people in a couple different ways. So recently I've had a lot of people, actually three different times I've had people come to me and say, hey, you know, we have this opening, you'd be perfect for it. And I'm like, what? I'm not looking for a job. Like, what are you talking about? And then I kind of realized that a lot of people don't understand. Even the people that are close to me who know how passionate I am about this business that I have and about building this legacy and this lifestyle and how I want so much to change the world and to help people and that this is a serious passion. Like, it burns inside of me that I cannot ignore it and I cannot see myself doing anything but this. Other people don't get that. Um, and I understand that in a way I feel sad that they don't understand that I hope that they have something in their lives that they also feel that passionate about because it is really important um, it's the best thing that's ever happened to me but anyway what I was thinking when this happened was um, I was talking to my life coach about it and she was like have you ever read the story or heard the story of burn the ships and since then, I've brought this up to a couple people, and a lot of people haven't heard it. So I kind of want to share this in case you haven't. So way back in the day, in like the 1500s, 1519, I think, to be exact, um, there was a captain, uh, Cortez, and he landed in uh, Veracruz, Veracruz, Veracruz on a conquest. The conquest that was supposed to be, if he won this battle, would be the best conquest of his career. So when they got there he ordered his men to burn the ships. There's not a lot of detail, obviously, on this story, but as you can imagine, I'm sure that they all thought he was insane and they looked at him like he was crazy. And But he was their captain, so they burned the ships. So what does that mean? What does that mean in your life, whether it's your life or your business or just your mission in helping people or charities or your family, whatever it may be? Burn the freaking ships. Don't have a plan B. And yeah, don't get me wrong, that's scary. Not having a plan B is scary. But in the same way, in the same token, it is so empowering, I can't even describe it to you. If you've not felt that way, I encourage you to burn the damn ships because it's a great feeling. It is empowering and the fear and like lights you up and makes you go out there and do this every single day. Um, Mainly what it means though, and like the logic behind it is that you don't have a plan B. You know what you want to do and you know what's important to you and you push on to that every single day. That's your only plan. There is no other option in your head. Sure, there are ways to adjust your plan. There are ways to uh, tweak it a little to help you get closer and closer to your goal, but the goal never changes. That goal is your, that's it. There's no plan B. There's no other option. So think about that in your own life, whether it be business or personal in your families, and really think about do you make excuses for things and not focus as much or not stay as on track because, well, I mean, if it doesn't work out, I can always do this instead. You allow yourself to have plan B, C, D, you know, whatever. You have this whole long line of excuses behind you that you can, or things you can utilize in case plan A doesn't work. And instead of just making a solid plan, making a decision, committing to it, and moving forward. They tell you that if you continue on as an entrepreneur, you are one of 3% that actually see it through. It's a really freaking small percentage. The reason that percentage is so small is because nobody else burns the damn ships. They don't get rid of those other options or those other um, fears. Those other, they don't get rid of it. They just, they have that there as a backup plan. And therefore, when times get tough, they go to their backup plan and they become a part of that large percentage that doesn't make it and doesn't succeed in their business. So... Think about that. Uh, I just want to leave you with that. Burn the ships. Think about how you can utilize that in your life and in your business and how it can potentially help you expand and grow. 
If you have any questions, let me know. Um, as always, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. I totally appreciate that. You can subscribe to my channel, or if you do like the, the message as well, share it. I Awesome. That's awesome if you guys do that. I totally appreciate it. Thanks so much, and until next time, have a kick-ass day.